Mississippi farm raised catfish. It's what's for dinner tonight. You know, this is a simple way to fix catfish that your family will enjoy, but you need to make sure when you go to the market to look for farm raised catfish. Because there's a lot of inferior fish in our markets, you want to be sure the catfish you're getting is safe, been raised to high standards, and is safe for your family to eat. So again, look for that grown in the USA, raised in Mississippi labels. All right, let's take a look at our catfish. I've got a simple fillet here that we're gonna be using. It's a nice one, about a half a pound on this particular one. And I'm gonna make a really nice little sauce that goes with. This is buttermilk. Mmm, one of those treats that you maybe your grandmother used to use. It's nice to have. I'm adding a little bit of cayenne pepper. If you want to, you can add a little bit of Tabasco sauce or other types of hot sauce. A little oregano, some garlic salt, and notice I said garlic salt, so if you want to cut out a little bit of salt, you can always just use garlic powder instead of the salt. We're going to stir this up. Oh, this is going to make such a good flavorful coating to put on our catfish. And you know, catfish is a great thing for our state's economy. We have $178 million worth of value in our catfish in the year 2013 for the state of Mississippi. So be sure again to look for that farm-raised catfish. It's good for our local economy. We're going to take our filet, put it in here. We're going to dip it over a little bit. And then I have a coating top that we're going to be using. This is cornflakes and pecans. And all I've done is crust them up a little bit in a bag that we can have them. We're going to coat this very easily. Make sure we get a nice tasty coating. And this is a great way to use catfish instead of doing a traditional fried catfish. A nice healthy recipe for your family. And let me tell you, when you get that toasted pecan crust on there, it's going to be delish. You put it on a full covered pan. We're going to put this in our oven. We're going to bake it for about uh, 30 minutes and it's going to come out delicious and flaky. Check our website at growingmississippi.org for this catfish recipe as well as wonderful facts about our catfish farmers here in Mississippi. We invite you to learn more about Mississippi agriculture and its importance to your daily life. Visit www.growingmississippi.org.